I, I'm going to show you something to try. Go outside and write your numbers down on your meter. And go cook or whatever you want to do. And come back and write the numbers down again. They'll change. And you can see, like, how much it costs you to cook. You can see how much it costs you to uh to dry your clothes or whatever. You can see what you've done in 24 hours. Now, I've had... I used to keep my kilowatts under 10 a day. That's 24 hours what I'm talking about. I want to tell y'all, your lights in your house ain't what's running your bill up. I'm going to show you this over here. I'm going to show you how much it costs to run a light bulb, a 60-watt light bulb for one month. It's stuff that runs off of 220 that's what's about to put you in the poor house. And here's something that men will argue with you about. They'll tell you that it's it's cheaper to leave a fluorescent light bulb on than it is to cut it off and on. Okay, now here's the deal on that. It is true that it does surge when you flip the light switch on. But it's only for a fraction of a second, that surge. It's not even an eighth of a penny. So, it is cheaper to cut the light off then leave it on, a, a fluorescent light. All right, look at this. Now, this is a 60-watt bulb. This is one of them curly bulbs. He, he ain't got LEDs on here for some reason. But that 60-watt is burning uh, 18 watts at 16 cents. 24 hours a day for 31 days. That costs $2.14 a month. So don't raise hell like the young ones about the lights. The lights ain't what's eating you up. It's the 220 is where they make their money. Look at how many watts your water heater is. 3,800 watts. Look at your oven. 2,000 watts. That, that's what I'm talking about. That, that stove and oven, it'll eat up sometime. And I want to tell you that your washing machine... Your washing machine ain't that uh, big of a deal because it's 110. And your dryer runs on 220. But see, it's only running like 30 minutes. So see, that's not a big deal. Something that's 220 that ain't running long, like your whale. Your whale runs for like maybe 45 seconds or one minute, and then it cuts off. It ain't burning a lot. It's stuff that's staying on. Like that outside furnace, like during cold weather, and uh, like when they're real cold, they crank them generators up, and then they automatically charge more because they're cranking them generators up. I wouldn't doubt your bill remains at six hundred dollars, one bit. I got one of these things. You can buy one of these right here. And what you do is you plug this into the outlet and then plug whatever you want to in here. And it'll tell you how many watts it is. That uh, Y'all, that's how I know so much about this stuff. I mean, I've studied it hard. This right here is my water heater. It's cut off, and it, it stays cut off all the time. Now, you can't do this if you've got a house full of people. But it's just me and Tammy here. We, uh, we, we keep our breaker turned off. And then 20 minutes before we're going to take a bath... We cut this on. In the in 20 minutes is just the right temperature. Uh, and then you can cut it off and go on and take your bath. And then leave it off. Leave it off all the time. And by the way, your water heater is about $50 a month. And see, it comes on all during the night and everything. Like while you sleeping. You see, I got a fan here that I bought from that big store out there in Dublin. And uh, I got this, I got this in the window a lot of times, so you can cut this on, and and it'll pull the hot air out of the house. And I've also got it where you can let the window down too. So, uh, but we use that a lot. Now this TV right here, it, it burns about 50 watts. And on the back of every TV you buy, it shows how many watts it is. A lot of people don't know that, but they made them start doing it because. They would sneak stuff in on you. But uh, if you got an old type TV, it's worth the money.
to go on and buy a, a, a LED TV. Uh, an old TV probably burns triple the watts as this TV right here. And what I was saying about the satellite and direct TV and vampire electricity, this thing, even when you cut it off, it's still running. And the reason it's still running like that is so you can use that remote to cut it on. If it was cut completely off the remote, wouldn't cut it on, see? But anyway, that's vampire electricity. And this TV right here, if it's plugged in, this is for the youngest. I, uh, if it's plugged in, it's burning electricity right now. And you see that right there? That's an LED light bulb. And it's a and it's a hundred watt equivalent. And so so see, that bulb burns about eight watts. But that's one of my lights I use. But like probably an L, uh, LED light probably burns uh, a 60 watt, probably burns eight watts. And like one of them curly bulbs, I know you know what I'm talking about, they burn about 12 watts, a 60 watt. And you ain't got to go out spending a bunch of money on light bulbs. Just start out by buying you a few, like where you burn your main lights. I want to show y'all how I learned this. This man right here is Michael Blue Jay. He calls himself Mr. Electricity. You can uh, you can look him up and go right here to where I'm at. And I'm going to put this on the screen whenever I finish the video. And I want you to read this. And I'm going to show you, this is an a, a electric calculator. And let me show you how it works. All right, I got a coffee maker in here. You know, this is named Calculate Your Electricity cough, Cost. But anyway, uh, you, you can, it's got a whole list of stuff that you can find out uh, what each thing is, you know. And uh, let me go back and show you. All this, uh, all this on the side is watts, how many watts each, each item is. And uh, I got it on the coffee maker. A coffee maker burns as much uh, electricity as that 110 air conditioner I got over there. Hey, <laughs> a lot of people don't know that, but uh, but I'm telling you it does. And I'm going to show you how to use this. Okay, your average kilowatt is probably around 16 cents. Some people pay less and some people pay more. The more you can serve the more that they'll go up on you on this right here. I done seen this. I done lived this. Okay, so I got my 900 watt coffee maker selected and you can you can change this if you want to. You can look at your bill and figure out how much it's costing you. They don't want you to they don't. They ain't got it on there, but you can figure it up and see what you, what they cost you per kilowatt. In them kilowatts, they go up quick. So I got it on. If it just runs one hour a day, for one day, then you can go right here, and you can put it for thirty days or one day or whatever you want. Uh, every how many days you want. Uh, but I got it on one day, so you can see what it costs for one day. And I got it so you can see what it costs in one hour. But you can fix it where, you know, like it, it uh, let's just say yours runs eight hours. It burns 7.2 kilowatts. That's a dollar and 15 cent a day for one day. I'm going to show you some stuff to how to save you on electricity. See this infrared heater right here? It ain't like one of the old ones. This right here will save a lot of money on your light bill. Your your outside unit, when it's running, now I know it cuts on and I know it cuts off, but if you figure out like how many times it runs in a 24-hour day, uh, you're talking about like about a dollar and thirty cent an hour. So, see that's that's real high, and I uh. Just to tell you a little bit about this right here, them two burners is good like for when it's in the 30s. When it drops below 30s, I got this one over here, and this is a big one, and I had to run like them two burners in just one of these. That's all I ever had to run at, at the most.
And just by the way, a lot of times I run just one burner here and one burner over there. Okay, your air condition. The, uh, this right here is the biggest deal in the uh, summertime. Now, this right here is a 110. This air conditioner right here is 900 watts. And see, even if it's running non-stop, 900 watts, the compressor's running nine, nine, 900 watts, non-stop. This air conditioner right here burns 12 cents an hour. And you know, it's worth that to be cool. But when, but a 220 air conditioner, uh, they'll burn some electricity up. That 220, that's what burns up all your electricity. That's where they make their money. Take the refrigerator and cut it back. You can put a thermometer in there. Cut it back. Uh, keep cutting it back or up until like uh, you get it like at a good temperature. You don't want it doing mo running more than what it has to. This right here is mine and Tammy's freezer. Uh, we don't, we don't want no extra freezer, and you don't need one neither. That right here is all the freezer space you need. All that, you don't, you don't want to be paying for another freezer plugged in and running all the time. Probably ain't even saving no money like that. This thing right here, it burns up a hell of a lot of electricity, and this right here, it. It burns a lot. <laughs> anyway, a lot, a lot of things that like you can just cook and just warm up in the microwave and don't be running this thing no more than you have to is a good thing. It ain't no one thing that you do. It's a bunch of little things that what you do that makes makes it add up. And don't believe that bullshit about they they want you to save electricity. They want you to burn just as much electricity as you can possibly burn. And they ain't straight and by the book. One person liable to pay a certain amount per kilowatt. Another person liable to pay a different amount. Hey, I know my stuff about this right here. They, they made me mad one time. I like bill runs about $100. And I actually could cut it on back. But I mean, it, $100, I mean, I'm satisfied. 